You too. We are back with a closet tour. And today I'll be showing you all my clothes, all the pieces I got, closet tour 2024. Here we go. It's going to be a long video, I think. So, so we'll get into it. First, we got a gray Nike hoodie. Uh, this is my ex. This is my sister's ex-boyfriend's. She gave it to me. Fucker. So, uh, yeah. Washed your hoodie, bitch. <laughs> Hold on. Senesis Co. Anime Girl hoodie. Don't. There's no back. It's super fucking comfortable, though. I, I really love this hoodie. This hoodie's hard. I ain't gonna lie. It's just hard to wear because I don't be wearing like white a lot. I feel like. Next, Eddie Bauer, like little like half or like zip hoodie, but there's no hood. Oh, quarter zip. Boom. I'm fucking heen. But yeah, and like the inside is like fur, and that shit's tough. Um, it says extra large. I'm a medium, but it does fit. And the pockets are like weird. They're like cool, super comfortable. It's a it's a nice green. Love that. One of my favorite hoodies I have, cause of Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty slash Baby Milo full zip bape hoodie. Hold on. You see the bathing ape bathing ape tag. Green green hold on hold on green yeah it says baby milo with the hello kitty it doesn't say oh it says hello kitty on this side yeah that's tough i really didn't know that i need to wear this more i really truly do love this hoodie but sometimes the zipper be fucking up and it'd be pissing me off because like why is it breaking so baby milo slash hello kitty hoodie love 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 and right now I have on a black wife beater. And then I got Hello Kitty pants with some black socks. So, yeah, that's my outfit. And then, let me see these band Brandon. Damn. Damn. Hold on. Damn. If y'all want gym content, let me know. I just got back into working out. So if y'all want, like, a gym content or stuff I do in the gym, let me know. I'll give that to y'all. Next, we have this image hoodie. Public Image USA on Instagram. The zipper fucking sucks. Balls, it's broken in like three different places. The hoodie's hard, but the zipper's broke. So, this is for sale. If you want it, come cop. Um, Instagram is N-O-B-R-X-Y-Z underscore no braze. Um, this is a medium. Uh, hit me up if you want this last hoodie that was on the the rack the colorful rack levi orange hoodie see this in the light it's a nice orange the hood is pretty long though when i do wear it so yeah and it says oh it says levis levi's and navy blue great fall hoodie essential essential i would say and I have more hoodies, but they are in the, the, the opium closet, I call it. So we'll get to the shirts. Two white tees. Essentials. You need white tees in your collection. This one has a pocket. Bam. This one does not have a pocket. So essentials. Um, nothing special. Go to Walmart or, or go to Hobby Lobby. Their blanks are hard. Next, Green Day t-shirt. Green Day is one of my favorite bands. Uh, I, want a, I want a tattoo of uh, Billy Joe Armstrong, you know? So, Green Day shirt, hard as fuck. Next, we have this fucking flexion type shirt. Um, there's no back, which is kind of ass, but um, it has this like cross on it and uh i don't even know but dishes are i'm gonna wear this for sure with my rig pants uh some cool shit this is tough i love this 
um, yeah, affliction type shirt. Navy blue Tommy Hilfiger shirt when I need to be dapper. Uh, gotta get this, gotta get this, you know? When you gotta be dapper, you know, you're going, you're going to a blonde girl's house that rides boats and shit, and you, need to, you can't be wearing a tank top. You gotta look something like you went on a boat. So, shit, just throw on your fucking Sperry's, throw on those blue jeans with the with the brown belt and the fucking Tommy shirt. And, Hello, sir. Your daughter, your daughter will be home by 9 o'clock. Putting y'all on game. Putting y'all on fucking game. Next. My mom said I looked handsome today. Ooh, who the fuck on Instagram? This is an Instagram brand. I don't even know. I forgot the name. But their shit's hard. I fuck with their shit heavy. Is this Mason Active? If this is Mason Active, I love your shit. I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. But their shit's hard too. But my mom said I looked handsome today. There's a stain on it somewhere. Oh yeah, it's right here. Dude, I was fucking drinking coffee and my friend hit the break and it spilled on me and I was like, damn. But again, this shirt is a, now, now it's a lay around shirt. I just have it to lay around in. Next, the flannel. It's navy blue, white with like a little bit of brown. Pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. Um, just a flannel, you know, everyone needs a flannel, right? Everyone, everyone needs a flannel. Had to double up with this white shirt. This is this is when I wear the cowboy boots. I gotta go to the country girl's house that likes trucks and shit. You know, with the zins, with the little zins right here. Right here, have this open, you know, showing my chest and shit. And I'm like, shit, you know, cowboy hat, little thing in my mouth. I'm like, Phew. yeah, this is when I wear that shirt. Or when I'm wearing a sweater, and I need this to pop out, putting it on game, because that's hard. That's hard. Damn. Next, Family Guy shirt. Um, lay around shirt. It, the, the details is crazy, though. It's like a notebook paper. And, yeah, the details. The details is crazy on this one. Stewie, Brian, hold on, hold on. The details is crazy on this one. If you know, you know. Um, next... The sweater I was talking about, Tommy figure just like my shirt, but the sweater version, just in case it's a little chilly and I gotta go pick up the snow bunny, or the gutter bunny, whatever y'all like to call them. Gotta get crushed. I need to crush. Next, light blue sweater. Oh, you know what I should do? I should put the E on here with ecstasy and just have an ecstasy sweater. I feel like that'd be... That would be dope. A custom that mods ecstasy sweater. Or I could do like a different type of drug and put it on here. I think that'd be tough. I may do that. I may do that. That's a good ass idea. Because my mom can do like prints on shirts. So that's tough. Gray army sweatshirt. X gave me this. This shit's hard. I don't know if she gave me this or if I just never gave it back. Tough fucking luck, buddy. It's mine now. This shit's hard. It says army. Um, salute to all my troops if you have done anything for America, Army, Navy, Air Force, whatever. I'm fucking with you. Appreciate you fighting for my freedom. Because without y'all, I'd probably be in a landmine going, dum -da dum 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 And I don't want to do that. I want to make YouTube videos. So, appreciate you. Ooh, okay. We're now we're getting to some jerseys. Allen Iverson rookie jersey. He's the fucking go. He's the go. He's the greatest basketball player of all time. You can't tell me any different. Fuck LeBron. Fuck MJ. Fuck everybody, bro. Allen's the Allen Iverson's the go. Cannot tell me any different. Argue in the comments. Argue with your fucking wall. Allen Iverson's the go. This jersey will never be sold if you try to. Well, unless I grow out of it. But it is a medium, and I'm a medium, so it's my size. Um, if y'all didn't know, I was an Eagles fan. We, we had a rough year this year. It's okay. It's okay. We well, we had a great start. Terrible finish. But yeah, T.O. jersey. Got this from a vintage store. What size is this, dog? Don't, don't even tell me. Damn, and it's a Reebok jersey, too. But number 81, T.O. The fucking go, man. One, one of the goats, man. Next, soccer jersey. Mexico soccer jersey. 
and it does have Mexico on the back. Mexico. Mexico. I love Latinas. So if you're a Latina, and I gotta go pick up a bad bitch Latina, so I'm wearing the Mexico jersey. I don't even know if those two even go together. Let's say, I don't know. I don't know. Still looks hard, though. It has this, like, fucking bird on the front. I don't watch soccer, so I don't know. Next. Brazil jersey. This shit's hard. And this is, like, cut right here, so it's, like, showing, like, my, my, my vasculin. I'm not vasculin. But, yeah, Brazil jersey has these, I almost said three, but there's five. Oh, look at the stains. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera. Oh, it will. Ew. Clean your shit, dirty motherfucker. You're dirty. Ew. Brazil jersey. If I ever have to go pick up one of those, like, indie girls, you know, I gotta throw on the Brazil jersey. Mm. Mm. Just if y'all want to know my, you know, my pounds on 5'8", 127 pounds of pure McDonald's. Next. Gray wife beaters. I really wear these all the time. I wear wife beaters. If I if I don't have a wife beater on, I have a hoodie. And if I don't have a hoodie, I don't have a shirt on. I never just walk. I never walk with a shirt. It's either a wife beater, a hoodie, or no shirt. But yeah, I love these. I don't wear gray though, so they don't get worn a lot. And the white ones I get dirty, so I usually wear the black ones. Astro World T. See you in Utopia. Utopia is now Utopia, and the back hit is like hands grabbing shit. And where is this from? Two nights, November fifth and sixth. Uh, it doesn't say it's from Houston. I got it from AliExpress because I didn't go. But um, shout out or not shout out, but like rest in peace, all the people that did die at Astro World. Um, the motherfuckers that were out there stabbing people, you're a fucking scum. You're a bitch. Make concerts fun and safe, guys. Don't be a dumbass. The fuck? But yeah, Astro World T. <laughs> Everyone's like, you're a dad. You're such a dad. I think I'll be a good dad. I just don't like dumb people, bro. Like, just have fun. Don't put other people's lives in danger. Because, oh, I stabbed somebody. Bro, you have hands, bro. You have hands. Just, 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 you saw that? No, I'm right-handed. That was my right hand, but dude, I'm like, Alex, bitch. yeah, that's killing somebody. All right, well, let's keep it moving before before I put you on too much game. Beastie Boys T, check your head. It says your, but yeah, I only know like two of their songs. I'm a fake fan. <clears throat> B, Stee, Boy. Took me like two months to figure what that meant, to be honest. But yeah, Beastie Boys T. It's an XL. I cut it though, so it fits me. Um, it's okay. I don't wear it that much. Now this shirt I came up on, NYC Fly High Rolling Loud, and it has like all the people: Nicki Minaj, ASAP Rocky, Future. Who should I? Ken Carson's on here. I didn't even know that. But yeah, this shirt is so fucking hard, and I got this shirt for $4. Four. Because the guy on AliExpress had the wrong, it was like for $2. And I was like, well, I may buy it, I may never get anything. And when I bought it, he was like, hey, it's like $20. I just had the price wrong, and I was like, no, I already bought it, like ship it, or I'm going to like throw a fit with AliExpress. So we shipped my shirt. Shout out to that fucking guy. Shout out to you, dog, because you definitely lost money, but... I I love this shirt. Ken Carson's on here though. Who else is on here? Is Destroy Lonely on here? I don't know any of these guys, bro. So Vega, Lucky, Zan Man. Wait, I don't see Destroy Lonely, but there's a lot of names on here that I didn't look at. Is he next to Ken Carson? No. Oh, well, I don't know. I saw Ken Carson. I'm gonna wear that shirt more just because his name's on it. Next, Sixers basketball tee. Fire t shirt, really fire t shirt. Um, you know, when you were a kid and you used to play basketball, this is what I wanted, and then I got it, and then I stopped playing. But I, 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 I haven't touched basketball in like six months, but I could hoop. 
put me on a court anywhere where I can hoop. So, Sixers basketball tee. If I ever go to a Sixers game, I've been to one Sixers game, and it was versus the Rockets. And that shit, that's when Jimmy Butler was on the goddamn team. He was hard. Um, next, I have this vintage shirt my ex gave me. Damn, I'm sure he put me onto a lot of shit. I don't even know what the fuck this is. KCPW 89.9 FM, probably a radio show. I don't know what this is, so I'll sell it to you. Or if you don't want to be an asshole and it's really expensive, tell me, because then I'll sell it, I'll make money, and then I'll give you like $5. I'll give you a coffee from Walmart. Next, this shirt got so, like, like... Hellstar used to be this cool ass brand and not everyone will be wearing it but it's like Hellstar and like there's kiss on the front and it says kiss me I'm a Hellstar which this shirt is so hard but everybody be wearing Hellstar it's like wearing v loan so it's like damn damn so I got my wares out of it I wouldn't wear it too much anymore but this shit's hard this is for sale all this is good quality too I don't even wear bad quality shit I, I'm really touchy are picky with like textures so i don't be doing that you know i just like shit um state farm shirt my mom works at state farm so this is where she works i don't want to show too much because i don't want y'all like figuring out where my mom works and then being weird about it because i will beat the shit out of you i really won't but state farm shirt i really can't fight but i got this leg right here bro and this leg can be like what the? What the? Like, I could get ass. Next, my beautiful mom on a t shirt. She was like 16 in this picture. That was like me last year. But yeah, her birthday, or I think her 50th birthday, we went to Texas where I used to live and we all wore these shirts. So, pretty fire. And I got my ears pierced on her birthday. So, that was fire. I really enjoyed that. So, oh, I look weird, bro. Okay, I'm ah. Next, what the? I don't know what, bro, it just said 10%. So I don't know what guys just saw. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Smiley face t-shirt. Again, this, it's really me. It's really me on a t-shirt. I'm really smiley. So, smiley face t-shirt. Well, I don't know why that's creased, but uh, I don't even know you could crease a t-shirt. I don't know. I wore it once with a cool fit, and that was about it. That was about all I could do. So, and then last for this little section, pajamas. Fucking pajamas. I have matching of these in pants, but they're my dirty clothes. So just imagine there's pants with this too. And yeah. All right, guys, on to the next section. All right, part two. This is the opium closet, which is empty. Um fur coat on your hoe just look at it man this is a fur coat this is a bear i fucking killed with my bare hands let me just tell y'all i'm the man no my sister's ex gave me this his name was hunter he was pretty cool i liked him but yeah it's like brown blackish cardi is wearing a hoodie so i'm gonna have to or a fur coat so you see this coat you see this coat mm -hmm. next bitch Okay, that was a little zesty. Um, this bitch is heavy, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. First things first. Mason Act Up Rick Owens Clan Hoodie. This is the one with the pointy hoodie. Act Up 444 slash asterisk 47. This hoodie is great quality. It was like $80. Super nice quality. I do love this hoodie. I wear it all the time. Um, I have dog hair on all my shit. Don't worry about it. Love my dog. But yeah. Rick Owens clan hoodie. Deftones hoodie. It says Deftones around the fur. 13. It's a black hoodie. It's black. It looks navy blue. It really does look navy blue. Which is crazy. But... It is Deftones around the fur. Love Deftones, by the way. And low key, I'm gonna put you guys a little higher just so y'all can see me better and like the quality. There we go. Playboy Cardi CPFM hoodie. And it is fake, but I did cut this. It's supposed to have a longer, but I cut it. 
so it kind of fits like to here now i just farted that's all right anywho but yeah has the worm on the front a whole lot of red and this is an actual cross it's not upside down so appreciate you cardi for not being weird and it says metamorphosis on the sleeve so here it says a uh, the fuck does it oh it starts on this side so it says like meta morphosis fire and then on the back there's another worm i don't know what the fuck these aren't crosses they're like plus signs whole lot of red um love this i wear this i wore this to chicago for christmas when i went next this image hoodie is fire it would actually match my outfit it's kind of cool but it's pink and black the zipper actually works on this one i don't like the lighting bro anywho um but yeah pink and black all around image hoodie super fire by the way i really do like this i really do like this and i do wear it not not as much as i should but i do wear it um oh i do have more hoodies let me move this just so y'all can get all the hoodies in one if you only came for the hoodies. A3 exclusive hoodie. It is a full zip. Zip. Jesus. Um, it, has, it says A3 here in rhinestones. And then on the back, look at this bitch. This bitch is clean. Um, That's probably going to be my thumbnail. Yeah. A3 exclusive spider hoodie this shit's so fucking tough bro tell me that's not the toughest thing you ever seen in your life like tell me tell me that's not the hardest thing you ever seen oh wait sorry hi guys how do you get a little how do you get a little yeah but yeah this spider is hard as fuck so i really do fuck with this hoodie um playboy cardi mugshot hoodie this is my newest pickup Trying to get it in the light, but I guess if I do video, I can see it better. Look at him, my pookie dookie, my pookie bear. Drop an album, my pookie bear. That was a little gay, but that was a little nasty. Hmm. Anywho, Playboy Cardi. <laughs> Next, we're into the t-shirts now. Harley Davidson t-shirt, and on the back there's a pig. Because we fuck with pigs around here. I don't know what type of pig that is. Um, probably some nice bacon though. I would assume. Because like look at it. So Nice. Nice t-shirt. It's really long. It says Rogers, Arkansas and Eureka Springs. Um, I don't know. Next. Boys in the Hood shirt. Ricky! When he got shot. It says increase the peace strive for peace always but yeah this was the most this is probably one of the most iconic scenes in any movie of all time one of the greatest movies of all time and actually talking about increase the peace follow jesus let jesus guide you love jesus read your bible pray guys everyone sins all the time right everyone's gonna sin you're going to sin you're not perfect Jesus will forgive you. Jesus judges you how you judge others. So remember that when you're judging somebody or you're making fun of somebody. Remember, Jesus loves you as Jesus loves them. I love you guys. Next. Two work shirts. I used to be a busser at a restaurant. And this was my what I had to wear. So uh, two black button-ups. May have to throw this on an outfit. I don't know. Um, I don't know how I would style that. I think I'm a decent styler, but when it comes to styling stuff, and I don't have an idea when I first think about it, I never do it, so I don't know. Next, I got this from my job. It's a chef's t-shirt. Like, one of the ones the chefs wear, like, there's buttons and shit. This, yeah, and it has a fork on the back. Yeah, buddy, look at that. So every time I go into the, the kitchen and I make ramen noodles and I put a little whoosh, on there i'm wearing this if a girl said she likes a chef i might just have to i'm a chef baby i can cook i can clean i suck i shut what what that one girl said she said i suck i fuck i shut i cook i clean i suck i fuck and shut the fuck up 
No, I can't have that. I need my girl to be a yapper. I need my girl just to fuck it. Like, I want a funny girlfriend, not some girl that's going to, like, be quiet. So, but black tank top. It looks like the one I have on right now because it's the same one. Pretending they're pointing back at me. Um, but, yeah. Next, black t-shirt. Long sleeve black t-shirt. Black t-shirt. Long sleeve black t-shirt. Essentials, 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 guys. Get your essentials right. If you are just starting out in fashion, get your essentials. Get your essentials first and then build off your essentials. And once you build off your essentials, then get pieces and then build off your pieces. You, you can't go from here to here. You got to go here. Then here, then here, then here, then here, then here. And then you know the whole fucking Macarena, whatever. Next, this dope ass t shirt. Let my boy Logan, shout out to Logan. He gave me this or we traded for it, so appreciate you. Has a cross, a school, another cross, 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 cross. Looks like Tony Ferguson's wings back here. But yeah, and it's like super skinny, so when I wear it, I'm like skinny and shit. I'm like taking your bitch. I just, the only, only gripe about this is that there's red. I wish it was just black and gray. Because I feel like sometimes the red throws it off. But it's cool. The details. Next, y'all seen this shirt. Batman. Now, I am Batman. If I didn't know, they made like 10 movies about me. Batman. They're making another one next year. I'm like, bro, stop making movies. If you're not going to pay me, bro. Like, they're making movies about me. But Batman skin tight t-shirt. I wear this when I'm working out. Um, I'm actually going to work out in like two hours because it's like 4 a.m. So I'm going to work out at 7 when the sun comes up because like it's dark in the warehouse. But yeah. Next, I have this cut off Sting t shirt. This is the wrestler Sting. He took his shit from the crow, which I mean, it's fine. Fuck, I mean, they're both awesome. But yeah, this is Sting. Cut off sleeves. Got this from Etsy. It no longer exists. I don't know what happened to the person. So if you do want it, this is one one I love this shirt. Next. Pink Floyd. Um, the Walmart shirt. Nothing too exciting about it. Pink Floyd. It's actually pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. I really do like it. I'm going to wear this more often. One of my best pictures I've ever had, I was wearing this t-shirt. So... Yeah, I just need some shoes. The Union Jordan ones, the red and blue ones with this t-shirt would go so hard, bro. Would go so hard. Guys, if y'all don't have a lot of money and you want to get into fashion, go to Walmart. Walmart, bro. Walmart has good shit, y'all. Walmart. Kohl's. Y'all always hate on, like, those places, bro, but you can get some band t-shirts. Just find the ones that don't look corny. You know what I'm saying? If they look corny, you're going to look corny. Just find the ones that don't look corny and you're chilling. Next. Free gunna. Free one, a baby. Let's fucking go. And it says Lanta right here. I won this on a giveaway on Instagram. Shout out to y'all. I forgot what y'all was. Y'all made me pay for shipping, which was kind of like I won a giveaway. But I saw the pay for shipping, which was annoying. But it's all right. But yeah, free gunna. I wouldn't wear this. I cut the sleeves off, which was kind of ass. So now it's just a lay around t-shirt. Next, this is probably my favorite t-shirt I have, to be honest. Metallica, Old Man T, Enter the Sandman, has the tour dates and shit, him fucking doing whatever. Um, I saw Logan Robin wear this on the Volt ETX and I immediately copped it because that shit was hard and I was like, yeah. So this is probably my favorite t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, stud, stud. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I gotta pee really bad, but I'm gonna fight through it for y'all. Next. This vampire diamond supply hoodie, or not hoodie, t-shirt. Where the fuck is the thing? Uh, I don't know, but it is a diamond supply shirt, and it's a guy or a girl. I think it's a guy, but this shit's hard. It's just super big. It looks like it would fit, but it's super big on me, and there's no back. But I like this shirt. It's just hard to wear, you know. You got you got you gotta those black skinny jeans, the Balenciaga boots, or Balenciaga the LED ones I have. I think it'll be hard. Um, hardwood Classics. I had a tournament. The Nike shirt. But yeah. 
Hardwoods Classic t-shirt. Pretty hard. And I, I know I said I was going to fight through for y'all guys, but I got to pee. So be right back. Sorry about that. I had to take a piss. Um, black skin tight workout shirt. I wear this when I'm working out. This is a small, I'm a medium. So if it's so like when I flex and shit, I think I'm massive. I'm really not, but it's okay. We all have a dream life. Lost culture tee. This was my first ever t-shirt I bought and I did pictures. That was kind of gross. But I bought this shirt, did pictures, and I posted on their Instagram. So that was like my first time ever doing that. So that was fire. Has like scream on it. I don't like these like devil horns here. Because like I fuck with opium shit and I, I fuck with shit that is like opposite. But sometimes like it's too devilish and shit. I'm like damn bro. I don't want to give the wrong message. Like, if someone, if someone looks up to me and looks up to my fits, I would rather them see, like, a cross than the devil. So, but I do like this. I do wear it all the time. But if our inst any Instagram bands that are watching this, if you ever send me anything, I will post on my Instagram and, like, sh like show people. Because, like, because you y'all work so hard on y'all's Instagram brands and then send them to these celebrities that don't wear them or don't care about them. I can never do that. If you tell me you're going to send me something, and then you send me something, I'm going to post on YouTube and Instagram or Snapchat and try to get other people to do it. Because, like, bro, that's, like, $100 that you just, like, gave to me for free. So if you are an Instagram brand or a wannabe Instagram brand or if you're making clothes and you send them to me, you're going to get an Instagram post out of it. You're probably going to get it on some sort of YouTube video and probably a Snapchat post. But, like, if, if if you see this and you want to send me something, text me first on Instagram, N-O-B-R-X-Y-Z underscore. And, like, make sure you know. Because I don't, I don't, I don't, oh, I don't want something to get sent to me and then me not fulfill my word and then look like a bum. Because I'm not a bum. Oh, my head hurts. Um, this t-shirt, I don't really know what it is. Someone said it was a SoundCloud rapper tour. Um, it says the departed tour of Tho X Bam Fowey and Zan Man and TJX6. I don't know who any of those people are. Zan Man was on that other t shirt though. Hmm. I wonder if Buddy performed on my birthday because it went to February. Let me show you. February 21st is the last one. I wonder if he performed on my birthday. But I only really bought this because like there's like a glowing girl here and fucking horsies and I fuck with horsies. And there's like moons and shit. This shit's hard. The whole t-shirt is just tough. So this shit's hard. I like this t-shirt a lot. One of my favorites for sure. Next, Pink Floyd T. Back is tough. Front is tough. I don't like how it's like that washed material. Like, I don't know if y'all can pick it up on here. It's not like just like a black. It's like a silky like trying to it's like trying to be vintage i would rather just be a black gildan print with the thing on it i feel like it looks better but i do love this shirt though pink floyd t i have put that shit on before let me tell you i have some blue corduroy jeans put that shit on probably another one of my favorite shirts maybe top two kanye west late registration i wear this shit all the time i literally wear it all the time Cause like who doesn't fuck with Kanye? The fuck? Yeah. Late registration. Touch the sky. Two thousand five. Has all these dates on it. Did he go anywhere near me? Columbia, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. Where did he go in Texas? Nowhere. Oh, he went to Houston. Eh, he did all right. But yeah, love this shit. Fucking love Kanye. Next. We have an Eminem shirt. It's a little corny. I have not worn this shit in forever. But Eminem, Slim Shady. Um, my homie gave me gave me this. Love this shirt. Or I bought it off him or something. But yeah. This is actually tough. I ain't gonna lie. Eminem. I gave her an Eminem. So she slept on my Eminem. Oh yeah, I have a shirt that has Eminem on it. I don't know. Um, next. Ed Hardy polo. So um, it says Ed Hardy right here, right? Oh, I thrifted this bitch too. Ed Hardy polo. It says Ed Hardy. And then the back is cooking, bro. That's cooked. 
that's fire. Has even the Ed Hardy down here. Oh shit, sorry guys. Look at that. That's tough, what does it even say? Dawn Ed Hardy Designs, it has by Christian. I'm not even gonna try, Agadar. It says, true. It does say true. Heart with the ship and shit. But yeah, super fire. And this is my last shirt, but I have some pants to show y'all. Um, yellow submarine beetles tee. This shirt's fucking tough. I have put this shit on multiple, 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 multiple times. It is so easy to wear. There's a bunch of colors. It's on a black brink, and the like is yellow. You throw it on with some good color jeans that match. That matches the vibe. Uh, black skateboarding shoes. It is a perfect combination. It has never failed. Every time I've worn it, people are like, yeah, he put that shit on. I really did. So that is all my shirts and, oh wait. I have this car hoodie. I wore it in the rain yesterday, but it's just a brown car hoodie. Um, there's nothing special about it. It's just a brown car hoodie. So yeah, brown car hoodie. It's just a brown car hoodie. So yeah. But that is all my shirts, shit like that. So now we're gonna get on to pants and like beanies and shit like that. So here we go. Y'all seen these. There's a whole review on these pants. Rick Owens leather pants. Now, if you did buy them, um, they do shrink in the wash. I think they only shrink once. I washed them like three times and they did shrink once or twice. So be knowledgeable. Ooh, ooh, excuse me. Damn, got a little chirp on the bird monster there, buddy. But yeah, these are hard. I wear them all the time. Next, we have some black stacked jeans. They're fucking massive. Like, they're taller than I am. Y'all can't see my feet. But yeah, my homie actually bought me these for Christmas one year. Shout out fucking Gavin. Love that guy. That's my fucking guy. Gavin motherfucking Durbin, my motherfucking guy. Love that guy, one of my best friends. Yeah. Yeah, he bought me these for Christmas one year. So, yeah, shout out to Gavin, man. Uh, black skinny jeans. Skinniest jeans in Atlanta. These are them. They're just black skinny jeans. They're not wax or anything. They're just black skinny jeans. Got them from TJ Maxx. They look pretty fire. Next black cargos from walmart if you ever need just cargos go to walmart just go to walmart walmart is the best pants selection I've ever, I've ever seen and and there's a brand called no boundaries from walmart and their job is to has, see what's trending online and then just make knockoff versions of that so just go to walmart black cargos these are fire i love these pants Talking about no boundaries, they have these Rick Owens-esque sweatpants. They have a gray pair and a pink pair. If you have a gray pair or a pink pair in a size medium, hit me up. I will pay you. I will pay you to ship it. I will go to your fucking house. I need them so bad. These are the best sweatpants I've ever worn in my whole life. They're flare at the bottom. They're super baggy. They're women's sweatpants. If you have a pink pair or a gray pair, hit me please. Need them. Need Next, we have some black pajama pants. Just pajama pants. When I want to work out, pajama pants. And then next, I thrifted these Nike joggers. Like these, like, parachute ass motherfucking pants. Like, listen to this. When I walk, that's all I hear. So it's a little annoying, but I do like them. They're fire. They look great with my Balenciagas. So I fuck with that aspect of them. Um, I have some clothes in my dirty clothes. Um, oh, let me. Y'all are missing out on a few pair of pajama pants and a white t-shirt. But I had to get this one out. It's super wet because I wore it in the rain. But my best friend made me this. And I have Steve Smith, Jordan Walsh, Paige Buckers, J.D. Davidson, and Damian Lillard. Love, those were my favorite players at the time. Steve Smith is still my favorite player. I met Jordan Walsh. I actually bowled the game with Jordan Walsh. He's ass at bowling. Paige Buckers. That used to be my celebrity crush. She's, I don't have a celebrity crush anymore because like I'm about to turn 18. So that could be like a possibility. So hit me in the DMs when I turn 18, February 27th. 
hit me up. Um, Damian Lillard, probably my second favorite best NBA player of all time. Probably number two. I would say number two. And then JD Davidson. That was that was that was that was curveball. But for the back, it's crazy. The back's crazy, guys. So first, 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 you have Allen Iverson and Kobe, right? And then above that, you have me and him. His name is Matt. I call him Big Matt because he's 6'3", 210, blue eyes. If you want to hit him up, go hit him up. That's him. Look at look at us. I, we look high. Um, Allen Iverson stepping over Kobe. And then there's me and this girl, right? That's my ex. 